good morning. Yes, I'm in a bathrobe. I'm um, getting ready for what might not be, I guess, a perfect day according to the definition I'm about to lay out for us, but um, certainly a day that I hope goes well. I've got a big client meeting this morning, so I'm getting ready for that. But um, what is a perfect day for me, question number four, and that would definitely start at 5 a.m. I've done a little bit of experimentation with that, and no matter where I am in the world, I like to get up at 5. Um, so that even applied to Finland where sometimes there's no sun and sometimes there's always sun. <laughs> I just like 5 a.m. So that's where we start. Um, from there, I like to work out before the sun comes up if that's possible. If not, I usually still do a workout first and I, I might miss the sunrise. Uh, I can work out outside, but I find that in reality I prefer the gym for my first workout of the day. But I said first workout of the day because on a perfect day I do something else active um, a little later in the day and that's where other people come in. But before I jump ahead too far, what else constitutes a great morning? There would probably be some really good tea in there. Right now I'm into ginger and turmeric tea, so I'm about to go make some of that in a minute <laughs> as I continue to get ready. Um, I like to write in the morning. I, I do that pretty religiously. On my better days in the morning, I do my language lessons as well as meditation for a minimum of 15 minutes on the meditation. It can go up to as much as an hour, but that would be a really perfect day. So, so I guess it counts for this, for this purpose. Um, what am I missing in the morning routine? It feels like there might be things. Well, I mean, lately I like to get on the forums and see what's going on, <laughs> but I wouldn't say that that's a necessity. It's just been a recent habit that I've gotten into. Um, all right, so now that we're into a little bit later in the day, I noticed that when I answered these questions for my friends before, I didn't include any other people <laughs> in my perfect day. And I think especially since this is a falling in love challenge, I need to remember that I'm, I'm including other people in my day. So I'd probably want to meet up with somebody around 11 or so and maybe eat together. Uh, and then take a walk or a hike or go tubing, depending on the time of year and where we are. Now in a really perfect day, we're not in town. We've gone somewhere for a day trip or we are actually traveling, traveling. Um, because that's, I just am fueled so greatly by travel and exploring new places with someone. So on, on an ideal day, I'll admit, I would not be in my hometown, I would be somewhere else. Um, and spend the day, I guess, with somebody that I'm really comfortable with. I think watching the sunset is a big deal. I, I like to get photos of it if there's a really pretty one. I like to take photos in general, so that, that would be happening during the day. Maybe some selfies with my companion. And, um, and possibly order a Google photo book after that. This new feature, I just ordered one and I'm super excited to get it like today or tomorrow. But <laughs> sidetrack. Um, so let's see, selfies and watching the sun go down. Might like to go to an observatory and watch the night sky after that. Um, but wind down pretty early with a little reading, maybe some more tea. And uh, I tend to hit the bed at nine o'clock. Now whether I were alone or with someone else would be determined by various other factors. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure what they would be, but maybe the result of how our, our questions here are compatible or not. But that is a pretty decent day for me, if not perfect, because of course, who wants to commit to an absolute definition? Those of you who are willing to be more vague, but I got specific and that's why it took me so long to answer the question. <laughs> I'll leave you for now, but um, I'll talk to you later.